Hello, everybody. Audrey here. Today we are making steamed sea bass. It is a very simple and super delicious dish. I have to share with you how to make this. Here are green onions, ginger, and the chili pepper. Let's chop the green onion into three inches long, and save few leaves to prepare shredded ones. Do the same thing for ginger. Prepare a few sliced ginger and some shredded ginger. For chili pepper, we only need the shredded ones. Here we have all the shredded toppings, chopped green onion, and the sliced ginger. I want to share with you how to pick the right sea bass fillet. When you shop at Costco,、um, these kind of fillet are very thick. When you steam it, it will be very rubbery. However, these kind of fillet are comparatively thin. These parts are more close to the tail, so when you steam it, it will be very tender. I will highly recommend you pick this kind of fillet instead of those thick ones. All the fillet are well prepared. The only thing you need to do is rinse with water and dry it before steaming. I'm using a plate has a little depths. Place some sliced ginger and the chopped onion at the bottom to create the air circulation. Then place the fillet on top of it. Some ginger and the chopped onion on top. Prepare a pot of hot water and steam the sea bass for ten minutes. Meanwhile, prepare one tablespoon of hot oil. Cook it until you see smoke come out of the pot. Time's up. Remove ginger, onion, and the water. I transfer the sea bass to another plate just for better looking purpose. If you are not doing video shooting, you don't need to do that. Place the shredded green onion, ginger, and the chili pepper on top, and pour two tablespoons of seafood soy sauce around the sea bass. Now pour the hot oil right on top of the shredded onion, ginger, and the chili pepper. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. I put the picture of the sauce I used at the end. You can take a look.